Oh hi, Rosa Yamas, and welcome back to the final installment of Oshaya Japan's Yamanote Line Marathon Grand Tour of Tokyo. Yay! <laughs> so over the course of the last five videos, we have taken you on a walking tour of Tokyo's busiest entertainment and business districts. And today is the final slightly tired leg of the journey around the little green loop. We're going to be taking a Yaminote detour to eat Tokyo's messy, must-try favorite food, monjiaki in Tsukushima. So I hope that you have your legs and spatulas of steel ready for our grand finale today. <laughs> <laughs> so we're like 500 meters or something away yeah. from Tokyo Station. Whoa. Oh. Hi. I don't know if it's my imagination or if it's just that the station is so close together, but this definitely feels like it's getting easier. Yeah. So today is 31 degrees again. So we are having a hot hustle through Ginza to go and eat Japan's hottest food. <laughs> I guess so. So we've come to Okoge along Monja Dori, Monja Street, the number one place to get Tokyo's soul food, Monja Yaki, which is basically Tokyo's answer to Okonomiyaki. They use similar ingredients, but the texture, the appearance is totally different. To be honest, I feel like Monja Yaki is not so well known globally, maybe because its appearance is a little bit off-putting, but don't let it put you off. It is delicious. It is pretty mad to think that there are over between 70 and 100 different Monjaki stores just down this street. We've ordered the two famous dishes for this restaurant, the Mentaiko Mochi Monja with a generous helping of cheese and the Ikasumi Squid Ink Monjaki, which I have never ever seen anywhere in Tokyo before. I've never had it made for me like this. This place is very high class. <laughs> yeah, Sasuga Monja Street. My star. Look at that bubble. So I read online that the correct way to eat it is by putting the spatula on the batter itself and kind of sticking it down so it sticks to the spatula, flipping it over and then sticking it in your mouth. Yum. It kind of takes me back to being in Hiroshima, eating straight off the tepan. But the taste is totally different, like cheesy. Yeah, it's kind of the consistency of like melted cheese. Oh, <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Man. That is definitely the first squid ink wonder. Also, we are giving a little bib just in case there was any squid ink splashback. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it is kind of terrifying looking at it like that, but will it be terrifying to taste? Mm. It does not taste terrifying, that's so good! My whole mouth is black probably. Very garlicky, there's little bits of rice in it to like thicken it up too. Definitely wonder like I have never had it before. Much <laughs> Boiling hot. As you can probably tell, this place is super lively, very noisy. There's lots and lots of spatulas smashing around, cutting up all of the little bits of cabbage. But I can understand why it's so packed out already. We got here like just as it opened, but it's heaving because it's delicious. What? But. Wait, I want to get a little bit of this squid. Oh, oh, it's getting a bit burnt at the bottom. It's like a little seafood rice. True. Risotto, almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so good. Uh, Absolutely stuffed. <laughs> that was a lot of monjayaki. <laughs> but eating monja on monja dori in Tsukishima Mu Island with views of the sky tree behind us and Tokyo Tower in front of us. It could not be more Tokyo right now. Feeling energized for the rest of the journey. Ja. Onwards and upwards. Don't think you're joking. We are finally getting close, there are signs. Does she look at us? It's so hot, I'm so ready to finish. <laughs> the newest stop along the Yamanote line route 
and our penultimate station. Takanawa Gateway Station. It only just opened in 2020, 10 days before the Olympics were postponed. It's so new that it's not even really finished yet. <laughs> no yet. But one more station. I think I can hear the trains and the planes and the buses. All the transport is coming to the finish line. <laughs> It feels way longer than just like, what, six days? Yeah. We've been walking this. I feel like an affiliation, a love for the Yamanote line route now. Yeah. I'm a little bit sad that it's all gonna come to an end, but we're so close. It's getting busy. That means... We there, we there, we there. I finally have some more energy back in my legs. Right, just there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Never thought I'd be so excited to see a train station. Right? <laughs> <laughs> On the count of probably about 10. 10. 9. That long? 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Done. <laughs> Okay, it's quite anticlimactic, but we made it! We have made it round the entirety of the Yamanote line on foot. We haven't cheated one bit, as you can probably tell from the amount of sweat right now. start the stable. Yes, it's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. I climbed Mount Fuji sort of twice now, but this feels like the biggest accomplishment of my life so far. Right? I genuinely can't believe it. Yeah. Oh my god. Are <laughs> like a kid at Christmas. I feel like running to it. I've suddenly got so much energy. <laughs> Konnichiwa from Shinagawa Station <laughs> in Tokyo. It has been six days and six videos of a Yamanote line marathon length adventure with you guys. It's very fun. I did it. I'm Yes. Oh my god, we're so sweaty. Yeah, I think yeah. all this calls for is a bit of a celebration, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's cut it. The tastiest beer on the Yamanote line route. Yeah. You know why? Because it's 99 yen for that entire thing. That is insane. Literally, could not ask for a better way to end our marathon. Tokyo, thank you. <laughs> so we have found ourselves in the basement of a building right next to Shinagawa Station. Yeah. It seems like a little hidden secret yokucho. So between 5 and 7 p.m. all of these, any alcoholic beverage I believe is 99 yen. Arigata, honzumi. This and Shinagawa and 100 yen. <laughs> Can't believe. <laughs> So a moment of self-reflection while I uh, cool down. I have discovered three things whilst doing our Yamanote marathon. One, nobody should be walking around outside in 31 degree heat for 20 something thousand steps per day. Two, the Yamanote line is incredibly helpful. And three, Tokyo is absolutely psycho. Seriously, <laughs> you can't get that anywhere else, can you? 
it's really nice because we walk how many kilometers? Uh, this many? <laughs> I still have to calculate, but uh, just today we walked at least 20,000 steps in 31 degree heat. My knees are absolutely wrecked. Definitely, if you want to walk this in one day or even six, you could probably do with a bit of training. Definitely a few of these and uh, a sit down in between, but we've done it. Something that I never thought I would do in my life. To be honest, I don't really know what possessed us to do it in the first place, but now we have achieved the dream, the Yamante. <laughs> Foodie marathon loop. Absolutely needed this after all that war game. Ah. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, that is a chunky. How many is can I get? Ah. It's so hot and so good. Psycho. <laughs> Tokyo is absolutely the best kept secret. I don't think anyone in their right mind would really want to walk an entire marathon length train loop, but uh, hopefully this journey has proved to you that you can, you can see all sides of Tokyo that you've never seen before, discover amazing restaurants, cafes, bars that you have never dreamt of. We found so many new things. We saw like all the view between the station. Right. It's like an unbeatable, unforgettable experience. It's not quite the same level as climbing a mountain, but the feeling of accomplishment at the end is basically the exact same. We have reached the Tokyo climax the peak of Tokyo and it lies in Shinagawa. <laughs> also, I forgot to mention that this place is called Gol Den Yokocho. Aha! And on that note. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Jama de Zinu. Hi. Say no. Jane.